Right? Right? Go ahead. Y'all got a couple minutes of the word. I'm talking to y'all. Y'all know y'all nationality? You're Hebrew Israelite? See that, man? And that those brothers rejected the truth. That means they heard. Give me, give me Zechariah 7 and 11, man. He said, not me, y'all. See that, man? Those are the men that's going to be weeping and gnashing at the teeth, man. They don't believe, and we're not troubled. Right? Zechariah 7 and 11, real quick. Hey, you got to have those brothers, too, man. They're a part of this thing, too. This is you got to have the non-believers, man. And, hey, the believers are going to be very small, man. We don't expect everybody to stop and come get this truth, man. So that's about right, man. Go ahead. This is Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11. Bring it up. Right. But they refused to hearken. What the Lord say? But they, but they refused, refused to hearken. hearken. I don't know where they heard this truth, but they know about this thing. Mm -hmm. They refused to hearken. Go ahead. And pulled away the shoulder. They did what? And pulled, pulled away, away the, the shoulder. shoulder. And the Lord, they brought them right by account today. They heard this somewhere else, and we out here again, man. You see that? Hey, the Lord speaking once, yea, twice, and man perceived it did not. They refused to listen. Go ahead. And stop their ears. What did they do? And stop their they ears. They literally stopped. And hey, brother can even look. He didn't even want to turn his head and acknowledge his brother. Sister, how you doing? You got a couple minutes of the word? Yeah. All praise to the most high. All praise. What's your nationality? Haitian. Haitian, you believe in the Bible? Yes. Okay. What do you read about Haitian people in the Bible? Yeah, that's true, but in the Bible, you don't read Haitian people in the Bible. Yeah, we really don't. Right, so that's not who we are. We're not Haitian people. Those are bywords, right? Yeah. So what we out here to do is tell our, come look on this sign right here. We out here to tell our people who they are in the last days, all right? That we're not the names that was put on us by our oppressors, all right? You don't read in the Bible about the Haitians. The Lord created every nation, all right? You read about nations of people all throughout the Bible. You're never going to find Haitian. So we don't know who we were, right? When we first came in contact with a so-called white man, we weren't calling ourselves Haitian. You see that? So these are the names that the Lord called us. These are the names that we got in captivity, right? So if you're a Haitian, so-called Haitian, you will be an Israelite and a tribe of Levi. That's right. right. Right? And we want to prove that to you, all right? Give me the book of Deuteronomy 1 and 1. You know about the book of Deuteronomy? No. Yeah. You ever read about Moses? Yes. You read about Moses? What is Moses known for? Moses. For the ark? Hmm? For the ark? For the ark? I'm not really good in my Bible like that, so please right. don't judge me. No, I'm not judging. I, I, I just want to know if you know so I know where to start. So I Moses know. delivered the Israelites out of the hand of the Egyptians and the Pharaoh. The Israelites was in captivity under the Egyptians. The Moses, the Lord had Moses split the sea, you heard about that? And the Israelites came out. The Lord gave the Israelites law, statutes, and commandments. That's right, that's right. They made a covenant with those people, the Israelites. So I'm just, I just want to make sure you understand that before we get to the next part. Now, give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1 real quick. How did we get to this side of the world? I got it. No, he, he got it. I don't know. You don't know? You don't know how we got here? I don't know how we got here. Did we fly? Did we take a plane? I doubt it. Did we swim? I doubt it. Did we take a train? I think we took a boat. There you uh, go. There you go. We came up here on some ships, right? Yeah. We know that. So read that. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 from the top. We're going to read about the people that came over here on slave ships. All right, read that. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So we understand that these are words that Moses is speaking to the Israelites. All right? Now give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 20 and verse 15. Has anybody ever told you why we came over here on slave ship? Why this happened to our people? Why? Well, at first it was like, oh, they send us over here to explore the world and see what other people was. But, and then it got a little darker where it was like, some of us like literally traded started to like take their own culture into slavery. They started selling their own culture to the white people. But they, they brought us over here to explore, explore like this, stacked up on bottom of ships. Yeah. All right, that's so let's... Where the fuck that's where it just gets twisted, because it's like, how the heck did we come here to explore and we got like that? Right. right. So that means that's a lie, right? Mm -hmm. 
That's a lie. So we're about the truth. We're going to give you the truth, all right? So let's find out why this happened to us. 20, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Read. Now, but it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So remember, these are words being spoken to Israel. The Lord told the Israelites, after he made a covenant with them, if y'all break these commandments that I'm giving you, I'm going to punish you. Right. All these curses are going to come upon you and they would overtake you. Okay? So let's read some curses that will come upon these people. Curse shall, verse 16, curse shall thou be in the city, uh -huh. and curse shall thou be in the field. Whoever these people are, they were going to be cursed in the cities and cursed in the fields. Who was, who's cursed in the cities of America? Right, everybody knows that. <laughs> right, who was cursed in the tobacco field, cotton field, sugarcane field? Right, so we cursed in the city. Right, we get shot in the streets by the police. You know, no other nation got to march and beg for justice. Right, we still marching in down 2021. Right, why is there a Black Lives Matter, man? Why there is a black lives matter, to be honest. Right. It's just confusing because at the same time, there's still ignorant black people out here that's hurting each other and they still... We're going to read about it. Right. Remember, we're reading the curses that would happen to the Israelites. So you're right, but we're here to c c clear up the confusion. All right? So we cursed in the field and in the cities. Go ahead. Verse 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Uh-huh. So we begin to put the death in the face of our enemies. Go ahead. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Whose sons and daughters was given to other people? African-American. That's right. So-called African-American were given to other people. Go ahead. Um, another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Uh -huh. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Go ahead. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Uh -huh. A proverb. And a byword. A what? Proverbs and, and a byword. The Lord said the Israelites should become proverbs and byword. Like patient. That's a byword. Because the Lord didn't call you that. Right? Black people. That's a color in the crayon box. You got on all black. You're not black. Right? That's right. Exactly. 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 Right. So now we become byword. We're repeating and calling ourselves after the names of so-called white man gave you. So the Lord said you wouldn't call you after the name that I gave you no more. You would become a byword. Go ahead. Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Uh huh. God. Verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. Uh huh. And upon thy seed forever. Uh huh. Because and these curses that we're reading about, they are on us for a sign and for a wonder. Right? Like that, like that, that truck, that car right there says Orlando Police. Right? That's a sign to let us know what? That's the police. If they didn't have a sign on, we wouldn't know that was the police. So these curses we reading is an identifying marker to prove who we are in the last days. That's right. Because no other people on this earth would fit these curses but the Israelites, God chosen people. Make sense? All right, read on. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Hey, the Lord said we're going to have to serve our enemies. Meaning what? You're going to have to serve other people. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee <laughs> in hunger. And what? In and hunger. hunger. So when we hungry and we want to feed our children, what do we have to do to get food? What do we shop at? Store. What store? Publix? Publix Walmart? Walmart, um, Save a Lot, 7-Eleven, there's um, Cook Stop. Hey, we can do this all day. Yeah. Who owns these corporations? There's the white man, the, um, Israel, I, no, they're not Israel, they're not from Israel, they're all Arabs. Yeah, the Arabs. Arabs. Mm -hmm. Right, but the point is we don't. Mm -hmm. We don't own nothing, we have to feed the other nations. We put money in that pocket just to feed ourselves. God said that's a curse for you to have to serve your enemies for food. Go ahead. And in thirst. And thirst, meaning for something to drink. Water. It's a curse to have to purchase water. So water is free. Right? Go ahead. And in nakedness, clothes on your back. Right? We picked all the cotton. Right? All that cotton we picked, and you got to serve your enemy for clothes on your back. Right? That's a curse. We don't own no textile mill. Go ahead. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. The education. Where do you go to get an education? School. Who's school? White. The white man's school. Is he going to teach you the truth? No. He's going to teach you what he wants you to know. Yeah. You see that? That's a curse. To have to go to somebody else to learn. 
Right, and not go into your own peace. Go ahead. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What the Lord say? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who had yokes of iron on their necks? That's right. That's right. We had yokes of iron on our neck. Read. Until. How long? Until. The Lord never said we're going to always have chains on our neck. That was going to come a time when you wouldn't have chains on your neck like right now. Until what? Until he have destroyed thee. What? These people were destroyed, he can take the chains off, just like a dog. Once you train a dog, you ain't really gotta chain him up, he's gonna listen to you, right? He's not gonna leave the yard. So you got a bunch of niggas walking around America that's destroyed and trained. God. Now they African American, now they nigger, now they Haitian, now they black. They, they've been trained up that way. Uh, so you don't need to put a chain on us no more. We're not gonna rise up against them. We're only gonna kill each other, right? We trained, right? Uh, uh, verse 54 So that the man that is tender among you And very delicate Because you made a statement that was true Right So the Lord said we used to be tender and delicate As a people We used to have love for each other How you doing brother How your family doing Can I help you Right When the last time your brother came and checked on you right? See that Go ahead so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. His what? His, his eyes, eyes shall, shall be evil, evil towards, towards his brother. brother. What are we going to be doing? His, his eyes, eyes shall be evil, evil towards, towards his brother. brother. Now we kill each other. Now we hate each other. Black on black crime. Right? You ever heard, heard of Arab on Arab crime? Yeah. That's not a thing. Have you ever heard of uh, China on Chinese on Chinese crime? Yeah, yeah. That's not a thing. But you heard of black on black crime. That's the only thing we always hear about. That's all you hear about. But they kill each other too. These things are for signs and for wonders So that you understand The Lord is dealing with the Israelites And that's a curse on us While we're doing this to each other Right? Go ahead And toward the what? So I uh -huh. And toward the wife of his bosom And toward the remnant of his children Which he shall lead And toward the remnant of his children Which he shall lead Who's known for leaving his children? Nope 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 we're known for leaving our children. Men? Our fathers. Nope. Who is this talking about? Read it again. Read Deuteronomy 1 and 1 one more time. Deuteron Let's see if it's talking about everybody. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. He ain't talking to everybody. These are curses that are on the Israelites. Right? You want 68? Yeah, yeah. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now we just, we just established that they just came out of Egypt. They split the sea, they walked out of Egypt and walked into Egypt. But now the Lord is saying, if you break my commandments, I'm going to bring you into Egypt again. All right? Get uh, Exodus 5, and, I mean, Deuteronomy 5 and 6. Uh -huh. All right, let's see what he means by Egypt, because it's not talking about ancient Egypt. Book of Deuteronomy. never went back into ancient Egypt. Go ahead. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 6. I'm the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. The Lord said he brought us up out of Egypt from the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous with slavery or bondage. That's literally what it means. It's a house of bondage. Just like America. America is a house of bondage, slavery. Right? And you go right there. See, they got the pyramid. The Israelites built treasure cities you and know pyramids. You fold the dollar and they just make it work. You ever heard about that? When you fold the dollar and make it work. That's in the scripture, right? That's the scripture. Read that. This is Revelation chapter 8, 11, verse 8. Bring it up. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. A great city which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Not ancient Egypt, the literal Egypt, but a spiritual Egypt. Right. America is a spiritual Egypt because the same people came over here and built up this place for free, just like we built up Egypt. And we were slaves in Egypt, and we were slaves in America. So it's talking about we will be brought into slavery again. Go back to 68. Verse 68. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And the Lord is going to bring us into slavery again with what? With ships. ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. With ships. How did we just say we got here? On ships. Only one people came over here on slave ships. Right? Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Have we seen our homeland since? We over here calling ourselves African. We keep claiming all these other places. The Lord said we wouldn't see our homeland again. We still in America in 2020. Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold 
unto your enemy. And the Lord said, when we get there, we're going to be sold unto who? Who are we sold to? White people. The Lord is calling them our enemies. Go ahead. For bond men. For bond men. And bond women. And slave women. You see that? So, who are we sold to? Who is, who, is, who is the God talking to? So, what's your, who is your true nationality? According to the Bible that we all say we believe in. <laughs> that's right, Luther. That's right. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. All right, that's who you are. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. All right, that's the world's best kept secret. They don't want us to know this. Give me Psalms 83. Psalms 83 and 3. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Check it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So you are holy, sister. Holy means separate. You're not like nobody else. The world wants you to think you're on the bottom. All right? You better than everybody else. All right, this world was set up against you. That's right. Read. The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. The Lord chose the people on this sign to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above. Equal to. Above. Oh, we below. Above. Oh, the Lord said you are above, read. All, all people, people that are upon the, the face, face of the earth. earth. That sounds like right. racism. Right. Don't that sound like racism? <laughs> See that? See that? So, so the Lord said, the Lord said that these people on this sign are above all people. So how do we, why are we on the bottom? What happened to us? You remember? Deuteronomy 28 and 15 again. We're going to read it one more time. This is what happened. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses the Lord said if we didn't keep the commandments all these curses read shall come upon thee and overtake thee see that so we, what did we do that's right uh, we disobeyed our God we broke uh, the commandments and we started to serve other gods just like we're doing today because we don't serve the God of the Bible no more right all right read that this is Baruch chapter 4 verse 6 you uh, were sold to the nations not for your destruction but you weren't brought here to be destroyed to be a Haitian forever we were sold to the nation, not for our destruction, read. But because ye moved God to wrath. You pissed the Lord off, uh, right? Just like you got a father and you do something you don't like, he might get pissed off. Uh, See, so he might want to put hands on you, right? Go ahead. Ye were delivered unto the enemies. Uh-huh. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils. To what? Unto that devils. made you by sacrificing unto, unto devils. devils. See that, sister? So we rebelled against our God, our power, the Lord that chose us. All right, give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Because now you acknowledge that you're an Israelite. So you're never going to call yourself a Haitian girl no more. That's uh, a byword. That's right? That's right. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Levi. That's right. right. All right, read that. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh huh. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways. So the Lord requires something else. We got to learn to fear the Lord again. All right. Either you start fearing the Lord now, or He's gonna make you fear Him when all hell breaks. Because everybody's gonna fear the Lord. That day is coming soon. All right. Go ahead. And to love Him. Uh huh. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Uh huh. To keep the commandments. To do what? To keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. We gotta keep the commandments. Remember, that's what we broke that got us in this situation. So how do we get out of the situation? Keep the commandments. Go ahead. Of the Lord. Uh-huh. And the statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. See that? For your own good. All right, so let's read some commandments. Let me get Deuteronomy 22 and 5. All right, let's read some commandments that our people don't keep today. All right? Look at Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Bring it out. The women shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Uh-huh. Neither, <coughs> so neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a woman can't wear men's clothes, and men can't wear a woman's clothes. What's the article of clothing that men wear that pertains to women? Damn. <laughs> That's a lot of articles. Yeah. <laughs> when you go to the to the bathroom, how do you know where's the women's bathroom? By the W or the No, if you don't you know if you don't have a W as an image. Like an image of a girl with what? What, what is that? 
that's supposed to be. Why? How do you know it's a girl? Because the dress supposed to be the dress. There you go. That's the point. Right. A dress, right. right? So the daughters of Zion are supposed to wear dresses. So if a man had on a dress, that's a sin according to God. That's cross dressing. That's right. So what's the article of clothing that women wear that pertain to men? Boxers, <laughs> long shirts that's like really long that look like this a dress. Um, what else? Like big pants that that honestly. What about long. pants with zippers? With zippers? Right. Is that men clothing? Does women have anything to pull out of a zipper? No. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so what article? Who, what? What does those article clothes pertain to? Who? Men, right? Shallow water. Pertain to what people? Men. Right, right. So our women are supposed to wear what? There you go, sister. That's right, sister. That's right. But we weren't taught that, right? We were taught contrary. I'm gonna show you why. Give me Judith five and twenty. I'm gonna show you why this place is set up to teach against the law, statutes, and commandments because they want to keep these people in sin. Right? Who got Psalms eighty three? You got it. Bring that. This is Psalms 83, verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. So the Lord is dealing with two parts. He said, They. The they have taken the crafty counsel against thy people. Who's God's people? Right, the Israelites. So another people has taken a crafty counsel. What is crafty counsel? If me and this brother is taking crafty counsel against you, it's, it's going on behind your back. You don't know what's happening. This is a sneaky. A secret council. It's a setup. There you go, sis. It's a setup. These nations, you ever heard of the United Nations? Right? They had these big meetings. Who speaks on the Haitian behalf? So called white men. Right. We don't have a say so. That's crafty council. We don't. And consult against thy hidden ones. Who are the hidden ones? These people on this side are the hidden ones. We hidden in the prisons. We hidden in the ghettos, in the hood, in the slums. We're the hidden ones. We hidden behind these bywords, these racial terms like Puerto Ricans, Richport, Haitian, West Indian, right? Native American Indian. Those are bywords that we are hidden behind, right? Go ahead. They have said, come and let us cut them off. This is what they say. They said, come, let us cut them off. Read. From being a nation. From what? From, from being, being a, a nation. nation. They said, look, we got to cut these people off from being a nation. We got to separate them. We can't let them know that they're the same nation of people. We got to cut them off. Read. That the name of Israel. That the what? That, that the name, name of Israel. Israel. That the name of Israel, read. May be no more of remembrance. That prophecy was fulfilled. Now you didn't remember you was an Israelite. You said you was a Haitian. Right. How did that happen? Over years and years and years of crafting counsel. Right. Lies. You see that? We read it out the Bible. That's right. Go ahead. For they have consulted together with one consent. Uh-huh. They are confederate against thee. They are confederate, meaning all these nations are confederate. They unify against the people on this side. Go ahead. The tabernacles of Edom. And the Lord about the name of the people. The Tabernacles of Edom, the number one co-conspirator. Mm -hmm. All right? The biblical name of the so-called white man is Edom, the Edomites. Right. Yes, you and Israelite, right. they the Edomites. Right. right. They conspired against you. Read. And the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites are the Arabs today. Go ahead. Of Moab. The Moabites. That's the Chinamen. Right? Don't these nations got their stores in our neighborhood? You got the damn Chinese feeding you abominable foods. Right. Right? In your neighborhood. Doing, selling our women hair, doing their nails, right? They don't live where we live. They take your money and they go back and distribute it amongst themselves in their own right. neighborhood. Right. Go ahead. And the Hagernian. Uh, African, and we're not African, by the way. We're gonna show you that too. All right, African sold Israelites to the so-called white people. That's, That's right. right. You can read about that in the Bible. Go ahead. Gibal, and Ammon, and Amalek, uh -huh. and the Palestinians. Palestinians with the inhabitants of Tyree. So all nations has had a part in the destruction of the people on this side. All right? These nations that the Lord named are your enemies. Read this. Book of Judah chapter 5 verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord and governor. This is why you don't know about 
sister's supposed to dress modestly and wear dresses. All right, read this. Now, therefore, my lord and governor, if there be any error in I guess they got they they a uh, number of them uh, signatures. <laughs> you got them Esau coming pleading with the police to do something about this, man. <laughs> See that, sister? They don't want you to know the truth. They come out here every week and you're preaching a word trying to intimidate us and move us out the block. Right? And look, you got our own people. Right, right, right. Our own people. That brother is lost in the sauce, man. Yeah. Lost in the sauce. Against the Lord, right? Right. You see that? Oh, let's get back to the word. Read this. Uh, Judges 5 and 20. Now, therefore, my Lord and governor, if there be any error in this people. What the Lord say? If there be any error in this people. They, this is what the nation say, your enemies. They say if there be any, they realize something. If we keep these people in sin, that's what the error is, sin. If we keep them in sin, read. And they sin against their God. If we keep you wearing pants and you don't put on a dress and you're sinning against your God, read. Let's, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. This is how we, that's going to destroy them. Read. And let us go up and we shall overcome them. Uh-huh. But if there be no iniquity in their nation. They say if we keep them in sin, we can continue to reign over them. But if they repent and there's no sin in this nation of people, read. Let my Lord now pass by. Lest their Lord defend them. They know that he's your God. And now she right. said, lest their Lord defend them. Because they know we got a power that will come and defend us. Because right. they've seen it before. Right. All the nations seen what the Lord did to the Egyptians for Israel. Right. All right, go ahead. And their God before them. And we become a reproach before all the world. They said, if they repent, we got to leave them in hell alone. Because right? their God is going to show up. Yeah. Sure, you can take all the pictures you want. Sister. All right, give me the book of Leviticus. 11 and 7. And that's right. Not really? That's good. What, what does not really mean? Sometimes, not a lot. See that? That's the spirit, man. That's the spirit. Read that, read that. Book of um, Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. Yeah. Yeah. And the swine, yeah. though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, Yet he cheweth not to cud, he is unclean to you. So the Lord said, pork, pig, swine is unclean unto the children of Israel. The so-called white man, he can eat it all he want. Right? The China man can eat it all he want. The Lord didn't give them laws and commandments. You can't eat it. That's why you don't like it. That's why you almost choked on it. You see that? We ain't supposed to eat that thing. Go yeah, ahead. The yeah. <laughs> of their flesh shall ye not eat. Uh -huh. And their carcass shall ye not, not touch. touch. They are unclean to you. Uh huh. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters, whatsoever has fins and scales. You like seafood, sis? I'll try it. Let's see if I like it. Yeah. Right. All right. So let's see what the Lord said. The children of Israel can and cannot eat in the water. All right. I don't like fish. They make my clothes stink. All right, read that. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. The Lord said, the only thing you can eat in the water must have fins and scales. Right. If it don't have fins and scales, we can't eat that thing. That's right. Go ahead. And that, um, and all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. The Lord said it's an abomination unto you. So guess what? If you don't like fish, guess what? Don't eat nothing in the water. Don't eat no water. You see that? No seafood. No shrimp, crab, lobster. We don't eat those things. They're unclean unto us. All right? Go ahead. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Read it out. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. For that it is even all one as if she were shaven. Right? So when you pray, you got to cover your, like right now, the scripture's coming out and you got your head covered. Nah. That's a good thing. Right. Now, if I had a hat on, I would be going off. I would be dishonoring my head. Right. But as a woman, when you pray to the Most High, you got to make sure your head is covered. That's right. right. And that's something else that we, we're not taught. We don't know that. You know? So always cover your head when you read it. Read again. God. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. You're dishonoring your head. And ultimately because God said it. That's right. right. Yeah. That's the answer. 
No, no. Give me the give me the book. Yeah. Get, bring out what you had. Exodus right there. God said. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. You gotta go ahead. Like now? Exodus 20, verse 8. Uh-huh. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Hey the Lord said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. What day is the Sabbath day? You don't know? All right, we're gonna find out, keep going. Verse nine. Cause whatever this day is, you gotta keep this day holy. Meaning this day, one day is separate from all the other days. All right, go ahead. Verse nine. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. Uh-huh. But the seventh day. The what? Is, but the seventh, seventh day, day. The what day? The, the seventh, seventh day. day. So the Sabbath day is the seventh day. That's right. Which day is the seventh day? Hmm? That's right. So right today is the Sabbath day. So this is a holy day, right? Meaning we can't do what we do throughout the rest of the week on this day. That's why all the brothers out here congregate. That's right. You see that? Go ahead. It's, it's the Sabbath of the Lord, thy God. And if thou shalt not do any, oh, uh, sorry, it's like, in, in it, thou shalt not do any work. You can't do no work on the Sabbath day, right? So guess what? On Thursday, before the Sabbath come in, guess what? We clean our house. We do everything we're gonna do. We wash our clothes, we get our food prepared because we can't do anything in terms of serve our work on the Sabbath day. All right, go ahead. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy maid servant, nor thy, I'm sorry, thy, thy maid servant, nor thy maid servant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Meaning nobody in your house should be breaking the Sabbath day. Right, right. All right, give me um, Exodus 35 and three. Me, Nehemiah 10 and 31. All right, these are commandments we gotta start keeping. These, and we giving you simple commandments that you can start doing now. It's many commandments, but you can start doing these today, right? Go ahead. Look at Exodus chapter 35, verse 3. Bring it out. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. Meaning what? No cooking. Right? You don't want to be out there on the grill on the Sabbath day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, I like to do my thing on the grill. Hey, when the sun go down tonight, when I get to the crib, I might throw some on the grill. All right. But I'm not gonna do that until. You see that? All right. Somebody get us some stuff fly. All right. So, uh, what, what I had? I think I had. Yeah, 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 numbers 15, 30. Oh, so I'm saying she did one more. All right. Book of Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Hold on, hold on, Shannon. Oh, you got to be trying to talk, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> God, God. What's up, brother? God damn. What's up, man? Beard coming in. Oh, yeah, you see the beard coming in, right? He pulled up with his fringes on, man. man. <laughs> What's up, chat? All praises to both of All praises, brother. Hey, give the brother hand, man. Hey, that's a miracle, man. That's right. That's right. right. And that's a miracle, man. That's right. That's right. That's beautiful, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, brother, been coming every week, man. Been coming up, man. Okay. Yeah, man. All praise the most. You got any questions? Hey, look at the band coming yeah, in. Yeah, you can see. Oh, <laughs> And they say we don't raise the dead, right? Uh, right. You see that? That's a spiritual resurrection, man. Right. That's right. That brother was walking by dry bones, man. Right? right? Yeah. That's, That's right. a beautiful thing to see, man. You got any questions, King? No. Just listen. All praise to the most high, man. How the drinking go? I ain't getting today. All praise to the most high. Come on, y'all, y'all, y'all. Come on, y'all, y'all. Come on, y'all, y'all. Come on, y'all, All praise to the most high, man. You see right. that, man? That's a beautiful thing, brother. Hey, you blessing a lot of brothers today, man. I don't know what to do. I'm so excited, man. You know what I'm hey, we've been dealing with this brother for a minute, man. That's beautiful, man. Hey, you should be proud of him. Give me uh, Luke 15. Real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what is that out today, man? I'm good, man. I don't care if nobody else come here to work, man. Right. Right? Call all your hot with my shoe. Y'all can shout out, man. Yeah, right. Luke chapter 15 verse 10. Yeah. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. 
see that? The Ooh. angels having a party right now, man. Right. 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 up in the third heavens, man. Because guess what? Another brother coming home, man. Another Israelite. What's your nationality? That's right. right. That's right. right. See that, man? What, what can and can we eat? Guess what? You showing for it to go works, man. That's right. a beautiful start, man. That's right. You got a lot of work to do, but hey, all praise to the most high for the change that you have made. And we proud of you, brother. We love you, man. Right. That's right, right brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. And by faith. And by what? And by, by faith. faith. And by what? And, and by, by faith. faith. Yeah, a lot of Christians say they got faith, but they won't do what you did. That's damn vanity. You showing your faith and your belief in the Lord by your actions, brother. That's right. You showing more faith than the most holiest, righteous Christian. They right. won't do a damn thing, the Lord said. Right. Go right. ahead. Whereby ye have believed. Whereby you have believed. So your faith coupled with your works is what's going to save you, brother. All right? One more precept. Look at 2nd Andrew chapter. Go ahead, go ahead. Exactly what do these mean? All right, we're going to show you. We get numbers 15 and 38. We're going to show you again. That's a beautiful question. You want to get this? Yeah, that's a beautiful question. Read, read all that. Speak unto the book of Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Come on. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generation. Uh -huh. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. Here's the answer to your question. It's on for you for a fringe. Read. That ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments. So you can look at your fringes and remember all the commandments. It's a reminder. Uh -huh. Right. Because when you read up in the chapter, the Lord just had to put a nigga to death, man. Mm -hmm. He had to break him off, man. Because mm -hmm. he was picking up sticks on the Sabbath day. Right. So the Lord said, I'm going to have to keep killing these things. So the Lord all, said, It said all blue. He just read, Why am I not blue? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Read up again. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes. He said, bid them that they make them fringes. So brothers got different color fringes. He got the gray fringes. Brothers got the gold. Brothers got the blue, black, and uh, silver. Brothers got the red fringes. Right? So you don't matter what fringe color you got on. Read. Fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations and that they put upon the fringe. You're gonna put upon the fringe, read. Of the borders, a ribbon of, of blue. blue. So now when you look at the fringes, everybody got a ribbon of blue. So you got it no matter what color fringes, the ribbon gotta be blue. That's right, right, right. right. All right, go ahead. I sit on that. So it's a reminder to keep the commandments. That's right. I would beginning to know the commandments unless you tell me. Right, we're gonna teach you. I just written down from the study. We got you. No, 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 no. I, I want brand new. Oh, you got it? Oh, okay. 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 I need that too. No. Yeah, me too. No. No, no praise. Oh, oh, praise. Oh, praise. Oh, oh, praise to the most high, man. Oh, and with that, we give all oh. praises, honor, and glory to your hope. By a ship. Yo, shot. Come here, Shirella. 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 Come here, Shirella.